Hiranyagaba and the Big Bang, ancient flying machines and today's aviation, and groundbreaking surgical practices that predate modern medicine by centuries. These stories will challenge everything you thought you knew about the history of science. In the ancient Rig Veda, a hymn tells of Hiranyagarbha, the golden egg, the origin of existence. It reads, In the beginning there arose the golden embryo. He was the one born lord of all that is. He established the earth and this sky. Who is the god to whom we should offer our sacrifice? From this mythic egg emerged the cosmos. Shaped and ordered by divine forces, fascinatingly, modern cosmology proposes a not-so-different beginning. Scientists speak of a singularity, a point infinitely dense and unimaginably hot, that marked the birth of our universe. What followed was the Big Bang, a rapid expansion that continues to define the cosmos. Though separated by millennia, both accounts share a common thread, a singular origin of everything. The Hiranyagaba echoes the idea of the Big Bang, raising an intriguing question. Could ancient wisdom and modern science be different lenses through which we perceive the same truth? Cosmic inflation, a scientific hypothesis, builds on this narrative. It suggests the universe expanded faster than the speed of light in its earliest moments, creating the vastness we see today. The hymn's imagery of the golden embryo breaking open to form space and sky parallels this idea an ordered cosmos emerging from chaos. Ancient poets sought to explain the mysteries of existence, much like modern scientists. Whether through myths or equations, the quest to understand our beginnings binds us. Bound by the laws of science. The question of whether God is bound by the laws of science is a bit like your question. Can God make a stone that is so heavy that he cannot lift it? Across time and culture, the Hiranyagarbha and the Big Bang, two tales, one universe and endless wonder. Across the pages of Sanskrit epics, like the Ramayana and the enigmatic Vimana Shastra, we encounter tales of extraordinary flying machines known as Vimanas. These vehicles, described as capable of both terrestrial and interstellar travel, seem like something out of a futuristic sci-fi novel. Yet, they come to us from ancient texts. Descriptions from these texts detail advanced mechanisms. The Ramayana recounts how King Ravana's Pushpaka Vimana transported him across vast distances. The Vimana Shastra, though more controversial, offers technical diagrams and specifications, reading almost like an ancient engineering manual. But, how do these ancient accounts stack up against today's aviation? Modern science defines flight using principles of aerodynamics, propulsion, and control systems. While no direct evidence links Vimanas to historical technologies, the imagination behind these descriptions mirrors our advancements in aviation. From gyroscopes for navigation to the dream of interplanetary travel, scholars remain divided. Many view these texts as allegorical or symbolic, reflecting philosophical ideals rather than literal engineering feats. Others suggest they hint at lost knowledge or creative interpretations of celestial phenomena. Despite the debates, the parallels are intriguing. Could the Vamanas be prototypes of human imagination, envisioning technology millennia ahead of its time? Or do they represent forgotten tales of civilizations striving to conquer the skies? Centuries before the world knew of John Dalton or Ernest Rutherford, ancient Indian...